Good hello everyone and welcome to Fins and Whiskers. Today's featured pet is from Abby on Twitter. She is the goodest girl I've ever seen and if you look at her face, she is so done with you. <laughs> and if you want your good boys and girls to be featured, make sure you subscribe and reply to any tweet I've made on Twitter with the photo of your pet. So you guys have been asking over and over for this video, and so I'm finally here to serve it. A gerbil's diet is the most vital part of their living, so we are going to explain everything on what and when to feed them. But before anything, you'll want to avoid a poor quality staple food mix. You will be feeding this as their main source of food, so you will want it to be well balanced. Basically, to determine this, you avoid too many fillers such as corn flakes, corn, and lots of sunflower seeds, dyed foods such as cereals with color and high amounts of sugar. You may want to pause for this infographic, but basically, whether you're making a homemade mix or adding to a commercial mix, you must calculate all ingredients or mixes together to make sure that they don't exceed these percentages for adults or growing gerbils. It sounds confusing, but there is a great calculator on Hamster Hideout that you can use, and I'll link that in the description. But a natural variety of seeds and herbs is desirable as it is closest to their natural diet. Legumes, grains, and seeds can be fed three tablespoons for at least two to three gerbils every other day to avoid selective feeding. Some seeds are higher in both protein and fat than others and should be accommodated to the percentages that was listed in the infographic. Flower seeds such as amaranth, barley, and wheat should have a larger portion than those with seeds high in fatty acids like sesame, quinoa, and flax. Nuts are also generally high in fat, so they should be limited to one a week or used as treats. Unlike with hamsters, sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds are a little more fattening for gerbils and can be compared and used like nuts. Flowers and herbs are also a great addition to a gerbil's diet for their vitamins and minerals. They may contain antioxidants and have many properties that can help to aid different functions of a gerbil's body. You can sprinkle a bit daily or every other day and at least once a week. They gerbils might also use them as nesting material depending on the ones they might not like consuming. So it can provide a natural foraging experience that way. And if you guys would like a video on safe flowers and fruits, veggies, and herbs for gerbils, let me know in the comments and I will make videos on those. You can feed fresh flowers, however, you will have to include that as their salad because it will increase their water content. Dried flowers are also great for picky gerbils who might use most as nesting material. Everything you sprinkle throughout their enclosure should be dried foods as you don't want fresh foods to be lost in the bedding and start to mold. With that being said, greens are also necessary to provide in a gerbil's diet as they contain many necessary nutrients. Once you adjust gerbils to fresh greens, you can fade a tablespoon for two to three gerbils daily, and it should include variety. Always make sure you introduce veggies slowly with little pieces for those that aren't used to them or have had them at all. The reason I recommend feeding greens daily as opposed to more than one tablespoon two to three times a week is for the gerbils to be able to eat different pieces than they did the day before. Since gerbils need to be kept in pairs or more, it's likely one will eat faster than the other and the other could miss out on a particular veggie even when you divide them into pieces. And of course, I recommend feeding fresh foods in a dish in an area away from their bedding so that they do not bring it over to the bedding and spread it everywhere and it gets lost in the bedding and you do not know 
where it is and it starts to mold as it will be bad all around. You can also give your gerbils treats from time to time. Treats can include sugary treats such as dehydrated or fresh fruits. You can also feed sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds as treats. Just make sure that you are doing this only once a week and they should not exceed a teaspoon per gerbil. And lastly, like with all living things, gerbils need a supply of fresh water. You can use a water dish so that they can drink more freely or a glass water bottle as they are likely to chew through soft plastic so you want to avoid that. And remember to clean bottles if you are using those thoroughly and replace the water every two days. With water dishes, you want to replace it daily as it is open into the air. But again, I do prefer water dishes to water bottles as they are more likely to drink more water than they would with the water bottle, so that's always good. But that is basically all you need to know for a gerbil's diet. Of course, if you have any other questions, you can feel free to comment down below and I will get to them. I am always, always checking my comments so you can do that. But make sure to subscribe for more gerbil content and other content and I'll see you guys next time.